We out here. Thank you for joining me. I'm Corian Hunter, and I'm watching my favorite clips from classic movies, from dope movies, from great movies. Here, we're watching a clip from Jurassic Park. All right. Um. Yeah, the great man. Um. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg directed uh Jurassic Park. As we all know, this movie is a classic and never gets old. It will always be dope. So the question is, why did I pick this scene? I picked this scene because of the craft of the scene. Um, we watch movies, man. We like to see spectacles, right? We like to see the big action sequences. We like to see things that get our blood going, our heart beating, or rushing, or whatever the case may be. This right here is just... It's like a master class on like how to shoot a scene. When I watch this, I see the director at work. All the cuts, all the details, the details they choose. It's just, it all adds up. It all adds up. <clears throat> and of course, the actors too, man. They're, they're, the, the fear on their face, the suspense that they give. Look at this. The fact that the director chose that shot. Could have had the dinosaur burst and do into the room. He had the dinosaur creep into it, building the suspense. Then building the uh, suspense. Now the dinosaur is in the room. Because is all this necessary? This is what I mean. Yeah, because the director thought of it. He thought about it in detail and he's shooting it like that. The CG still holds up even now. I will say that. Especially from that time. Holds up really well. And look at it. Just the details. Just the details. Now I'm seeing the dinosaur footsteps. They're breathing hard. And mind you, nothing happened yet, man. It's just, just the cuts. And this is, and this is when you see a, a master filmmaker as opposed to like a, a amateur. An amateur would have just brushed the scene, did a, a cheesy shot, a one shot. It just wouldn't have been as appealing. Still, when Spielberg out here. Wagging it. See, that was nice. That was nice. Because now, when it comes to filmmaking, it becomes like connecting the dots, playing with puzzles, connecting everything. It gets tedious, especially because you got a lot of people waiting on you and stuff. So, you know, a lot of people fold. That was, that's probably my favorite one. My favorite, my favorite part. The way it misled us. We thought that, you know, they, they caught our character and, and she got away. Now look at this. He could run to the door, but they got my man hopping because, you know, his leg is messed up. Obviously, right? It's building the suspense. And it's just a whole bunch of ideas coming together. A whole bunch of small ideas coming together. And that's how movies is made. But he crafted with love and care. Look at this. Look. <laughs> Was that necessary? Probably not. But it's like all these small ideas coming together to create a dope scene. That's what filmmaking is about. Um, so yeah, man. That's where I was at with it. Should I let it rock? <clears throat> Should I let it rock? 
And right, we're gonna end it there. That was always one of my favorite scenes uh, from Jurassic Park, and Jurassic Park got a lot of them, all right? It's a bunch of them. Um, but that one is just letting us, it just let us, just all the ideas coming together. All the ideas coming together. Because that's what people don't realize. They always, if you're not creating the art, you're just thinking, oh yeah, that's the way it's supposed to. You don't see it any other way than the way that you seen it. But it could have been any number of ways. But we love it because of the way that he did it. And he did it the way that he did it because he took about 50 ideas and meshed them together to create one big idea, which ended up becoming a small scene in a bigger movie. And it's that kind of energy and endurance that create great fame filmmakers, all right? That great filmmakers have. Just taking the love and care for that scene. But not just for that scene, but for every scene. Because really, that's how you create great movies, right? Um, I realized the the better the filmmaker become, the better they become at uh, catching dope scenes in succession. And sometimes you got filmmakers, you know, they they, they they build up to a scene and you be like, oh, that was a dope scene. And then, you know, the next scene is like, yo, we just got to get by the scene. So if you go to the next one, and I get it in terms of finances and and just the limitation of obstacles we got to hurdle through, right? But, you know, the big filmmakers, the master filmmakers, right? They take their time at every scene. So then when you're watching a movie, every scene is, like, iconic. And Jurassic Park is one of those rare movies where that happened. And this is just another scene in a long list of scenes in this film that's dope. So, yeah, man, that's where I'm at with it. I appreciate y'all, as always. Um... Watching scenes with me, watching movies with me, but I'd rather do it with you. Um, so thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And you already know, we out here.